Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, as you can see, I have done a little bit of work around here. I've done a few things too. I'm actually doing one of those things right now. Uh, as you can see, I've placed... I thought I was actually going to go in. Oh, that's no good. Oh well. Could have made cars. But yeah, as you can see, I have built three more miners. Uh, or placed two more miners, I should say, to increase the stone production. But then a few other things too. I need more copper here. Uh, I don't know if I did this last episode, but I got this all set up on a heat grid now. Um, all this is connected up to here. Uh, this is still on its own system, but what I've done is I've taken the, uh, the coke, coal coke, I'll call it, because I don't like seeing you know, coke, but, uh, yeah, so I got coming down the line here, feeding, uh, this furnace here for the, the fuel production, and I go, got to go on over there, filling up those three, uh, furnaces over there, so, yeah, it is self-sustaining right now, I have currently have endless power, limitless, and, uh, I want to make some good use of that today, I have also done a whole lot of the, the basic research, like all the decorative blocks and stuff like that i haven't really gotten into like the cutting in arms and stuff like that until we're on camera just you know for pro progress purposes uh, i'm kind of wondering why there's an exclamation point exclamation mark on the screwdriver i don't know but we'll go ahead and research that anyways uh since this is going uh i've been looking at the, the heat grid too this is actually doing pretty good let me get that out of my hand uh it's not showing much right now, but uh, I do have three of these running at 16.6, so I'm doing close to 50 kilowatts right now. Each one of these Sterling en engines uses six, so off those three furnaces, I could have 10 machines running. I could have one or two computers. I could have two smelters running because uh, the smelters actually only use 5.5 uh, when they're running. I don't have the coal in there. I still got to pipe that in over here. Uh, when I do bring that in, and yes, I have made a few con conveyors. Should be only one box, but these are early stage chests. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into the ore processing. We don't have the washer yet, but we do have we do have the hammer and we do have the macerator. Uh, we take take the, the ore. Uh, yeah, take the ore, turn that into iron impure or copper impure gravel. Uh, we take that, run it through a macerator, and we get copper impure dust, and that triples our copper right there. Then we take that and we smelt that. Uh, takes two to get one. I wonder if that's a bug. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think we can go beyond that too. Yeah, we can run it through uh, industrial separator, and I think if we do that. Yeah, it's still two to one. I'm wondering if that's a bug. I thought it was one to one. So we're we're doubling it at least. Not that it matters. You know, we got we got a few nodes we can capture on here when the time comes. But anyways, uh, what I want to do is I actually want to get some better farm production, uh, fuel production going, and I'm going to use this setup. And I'm going to start getting creative with my builds this time since I actually know how to play the game and what I'm doing and all that stuff. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there has been some updates to the decorative blocks. Uh, the purple's not too bad. I actually do like the, the tiles now. They don't seem have that X in there anymore, so it looks good. And the red terracotta brick is great. Um, I actually do like the color, and I'm going to try to get some of that build going, uh, some of that into the builds. Uh, I'm also going to start using, uh, yeah, things like the, the 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 corners and the beams. And do we have the frames anymore? That's a good question. Let's actually have a look at this here. Uh, let's just search for copper. Let's see what we can find. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, one way to find it. Let's find the use for this. And these are all the things we can craft with it. Yeah, craft with it. Oh, he took the frames out by the looks of it. Copper chair. Ooh. I wonder if that's even in the game yet. 
It doesn't look like it. Unless it's steel. I don't know if it was like a it was like a scaffolding or something. I don't know, we'll find out. It's probably somewhere in the research. Speaking of research, screwdriver's done. And let's go ahead and start researching the steam pack. Uh, I was wondering about the anti-gravity, and apparently the anti-gravity is actually another jetpack. And I have a feeling, I'm wondering if this is going to be like a creative flight where you basically get to hover. Ugh, it gets dark so quick. And, uh, yeah, that'll be good. So what I want to do is I actually want to get, I was thinking about how many I wanted to do, and I think I'm only going to do four, four setups. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a farm down on the bottom, creating the wood. I believe that was an autosave, I'm not sure. And I'm going to have a coke oven on top with a one block space. And then I have an arm on the top, pulling from the top of the farm into the bottom of the coke oven. And then I have another arm on the top of this coke oven, pulling out, going into the coke oven on top. And the coke oven on top is probably going to have a conveyor or an arm pulling out, going into a conveyor that's going to go on the outside of a decorative smokestack that I make out of terracotta bricks, regular bricks. And then at the bottom, I think uh, it's going to be, I'm going to set up some sort of building as like a, we'll call it a power plant office, but it's just going to be like a distribution center for our fuel. Anyway, uh, let me craft some stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, putting the arms there did actually work. Uh, the arms will not actually pull out of the mining rigs. What I actually had to do is I had to put one conveyor section there for the stone to come out for the arm to put it down. Uh, it won't actually pull it out of the machine. And uh, I don't know. Oh, that was a bit of a light spike there. I don't know if this actually, any, this actually bugs anybody, but I do like to have the light, the outputs lit up just for, you know, the, the sake of it. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I got the stone going in there. I got the copper going in here. Not that there's any copper smelt right now, but uh, we'll get there eventually. I do have a whole bunch of stone ready to go. Uh, for now, this is what I got for building. We'll see what I come up with down the road or uh, what our wonderful, de wonderful developer decides to bring our way. But, so, what I wanted, you know, like I said, what I wanted to do was sort of set it up like a, almost like a power plant, because really what it is. Uh, now, the thing I noticed is the, the farms themselves are 4x4, four four, whereas the coke ovens are 3x3. Three three. So that might be a slight issue. Uh, not really, because it just means that there's going to be a gap. Uh, I do want to have pipes around this too. So... I don't want to have the coke ovens visible. I want to sort of make like chimneys out of blocks, which are going to be five by five. If the farm is four, uh, then I got to do some quick math here. Two blocks apart. Yes, it's uh, that that brain of mine ain't, ain't as young as it used to be, but that's two. So yeah, we'll space them two blocks apart. I got the pump input on the back side here. Uh, I was looking at. That's in the wrong spot. I was looking at the atmospheric condenser. Now the atmospheric condenser currently, can, no, that current tier can actually supply four of these. So that's what I'm going to do. That's three and that's four and they're all going to be coming off a one. Okay, so just like so. All right, so now we go ahead and we place the cook ovens on top. Actually, I gotta have a one block gap. Uh, just because I gotta put the arm in there. Mm. This is where this comes in handy. So, what I'm gonna do, so as you can see, it's got like a bit of a half block gap underneath. So I'm gonna place a block there on each one. I'm gonna place an arm. Uh, arm. Uh, like so. So it's face is on the block and it's facing upwards so it's going to pull out of here and go up to the coke oven and then on top and this is where I'm going to have to start uh, doing the old nerd pole setup and on top is going to be a coke oven this is going to be kind of awkward but I think you have an idea what I'm talking about here uh, just get the first one set up and do the other four off camera because it's yeah, it's kind of mind numbing Alright, uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Because it doesn't really matter which way this thing is going. Like that. And then go ahead and grab another block. Another, this one. Uh, yeah, right there. Grab another arm. And then we rotate it up like so. And finish off with another coke oven on top. Now, I could take the blocks out if I wanted, but I'm not going to, because it's all going to be covered up anyways with a chimney. Okay. So, like so, I'm going to repeat that four more times, and we're going to put some chimneys around it. Okay, so that's what I got. Now, what I'm thinking is, I think I'm, I think I'm going to leave this line here and have this as sort of the roof. So we'll come in here, we'll have the farms, we'll probably have the conveyor coming back down the outside in the front. Just for aesthetic purposes, it doesn't really have to do that, but we're going to do it anyways. Or, since I have one block gap, maybe we'll come down the side. I haven't really thought about that yet, but the versatility of these arms will allow us to do whatever we want. So, um, what do I want to do here? So, what I was thinking was going to be a classic smokestack, right? We're probably going to go up, uh, you know what? Let's go up there. Actually, you know what? Uh, we have a jetpack now. Where is that thing? Uh, let's see. Where is that steam pack? There it is. Take a, a minute to craft. Okay, but yeah, so um, let's actually start on this side here. We'll just pillar up. Uh, sure, I'll just do it here. Why not? Yeah, you gotta be careful placing blocks because you can actually place yourself in the blocks. So, what I want to do. I actually want to have the top of the, the coke oven covered right up to the very top there, but still be able to see the smoke. But I want to get two red stripes. So one there, one there. Um, yeah, this should be good. Alright, so we'll do a red brick. And then a white brick. And then a red brick. And then another white brick. And that'll bring it to the top. I think that'll work. And then what it's going to be, it's going to be three wide, basically. Three wide there. Uh, ooh, I didn't think about that. Um, oh yeah, that's going to be in the built-in anyways. So yeah, th three across like so. And then three across in the back. Like so. You get the idea. Let me dry off and finish this up. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, I went ahead and made the jetpack already. Uh, doesn't do what it used to. I only get you like four or five blocks now, but you know, it's early tier, so that is fine. Um, I had to make a slight change here to my design. Uh, don't mind that, that is a bugged out block. Uh, sometimes you try to take a block out, you get the block, but it doesn't go away. And I can't interact with it until I save and reload, and I'll probably have to do that because I gotta build this up. But uh, decided to change the, change the build a little bit to make the stacks a little bit bigger, and I will show you that in just a second. I do have one of them already completed. So let's get out of here, and it's really done. So I decided to lift the coke ovens up a little ways to get more of a taller smokestack, and then I've got sort of a closed area here to. To work with but i wanted to show you what i had on the inside before i go ahead and cover it up uh i also too decided to go with the the stone tiles instead of stone brick because they have more of a whiter texture so at least then you get the contrast of the smokestacks from the actual building so anyways uh let me reload to get rid of that block finish these up and i'll bring you back okay so i got all four stacks done and i was thinking about the the cold the return system uh, I was thinking well maybe I could just pull have it pull through down on the inside of the tubes but the uh, coke ovens are actually taking up the entire inside of that so we are going to go on the outside uh, I'm going to decide I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
Uh, grab some more copper first. Also, side note, uh, there has been a change to the item racks. I was trying to figure out how to take out one stack, and I used to be able to use the mouse wheel to take one or two out, of, out at a time. I know if you pick up the entire stack and you right click, you can place one. What I didn't know is that you just left click and you pick up the stack and you just left click again. It'll only give you one stack. So if you only need to take one stack out, just left click and place it in inventory. Okay, so I've got arms made. I have conveyors on me. I am also making a whole bunch of pipes right now because we gotta get using that atmospheric condenser. Now I wanna try something here, because what I want to do is I'm thinking the coke oven takes the top three blocks here, the, the two white strips and the top red one. I think I'll take the middle middle white block out, and then we'll just run conveyors down straight down the wall. So I want to see if I can. I know the jetpack will get me a bit of a boost. I want to see if I can get myself a, a little ladder to work on. Haha. <laughs> that worked. Anyway, uh, oh no, I gotta go up a little bit more. That'll work right there. Uh, sure. Because we just need to get one of these guys in here. As soon as I select it. And like so. And then it's just a matter of grabbing a conveyor. And this is where the fun part comes. Okay. So. Uh, as you can see, I have it pointing the way down. I'm going to click and hold. And then I'm just going to drop. And that's how you do it. Except for the blocks that you leave behind. What did I have in there? Oh, I think I put terracotta in there as a test. I wanted to see if it was actually going to work. And then basically what I do is I just put a hole here. And then we'll just have it drop right into a shelf. Well, not drop right into a shelf because... Uh, yeah, we got to use the arm for it. So, let's see, the hole is here. I'm going to do it like so. And then I do have to put some sort of back block on just because. For now, anyways, it doesn't have to stay there. But, well. Alright. Now, just fill it in with the conveyor. And yes, that is terracotta. That's fine. I'll take that out. And there we go. So that is how our return system is going to be. Of course, it won't be that. You'll actually be seeing the balls of coal coat coming down, which are actually green, apparently. Anyway, let me get the other two, three set up, and then we'll get to the plumbing. Okay, so these are all set up, so we are ready to go. All we got left to do is get the plumbing going. So, I'm gonna, you know, I haven't worked too much with the plumbing system yet, but I do know that everything's gotta have a pump, which is here. The pumps don't actually need power, uh, which is a good thing, which is actually a surprising thing. Alright, so, we're gonna take uh, some pipes. Let's see if I can get out of the back of that thing. If I can. Are you gonna let me? Sure you are. Just gotta hit that one pixel. Need a more fine-tuned mouse. There we go. And then we just run across like so, and there we go. Doesn't look like copper. Tier one. All right. So now I'm going to put the uh, atmospheric condenser, and I think I'll put it outside here, just to make it look like uh, I don't know, like a, a cooling system or something. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Ideally, I'd like to have it that way. You know what? That'll work. Do that. Uh, we will have to put a hole in the floor here. As we gotta get ourselves some thermal action. Uh, I did make a Stirling engine, which is good. Uh, do I have a furnace? No. But I did research the, the second tier furnace, which I need stone for. Which is all the way over here. Fortunately, I do have a full thing full of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a copper furnace. And 
that's gonna go down here and then yeah I think that's all I'm gonna do and I'll probably I don't know if I want to feed off that line or not I might just for the, the sake of it all right so now I gotta get some more pipes So, let me do that. Now, I don't think I need a pump out. As long as I got pumps going in, I should be good. Famous last words. Alright, where's that copper furnace? Furnace 2, it says. Alright. So, now, like, moment ago. Oh, jeez, yeah. Uh, gotta get these all set up first. Set that to wood, set that to wood. Set that to wood. And I'm actually shocked. I thought I was only getting 10 logs out of here, but it's actually 15. All right, let me set that to water. And now you just need fuel. Fortunately, I got a whole box of it right here. Now, in theory, if I have done my math correctly, this atmospheric condenser should be able to power all four of these farms. What's going on here? Do I need to pump out? Yeah, because I've only done it at one end. Uh, oh, I think it is getting water. Just slowly. Yeah, water in there. And water in there. And the recipe calls for... 6.25 or 0.625 okay make sure this is running efficiently seems to be might take a minute to get going uh, by the time that gets going I'm sure it'll keep up with these so I'm gonna let this run for a moment and I'll bring you back when I see some smoke in a good way all right well it is going, a couple of the farms are already, already producing wood, but while we're waiting, I thought we'd go ahead and unlock one more thing. Uh, I actually wanted to get some windows in this building, but we, they are actually locked behind the advanced smelting, which is here. We actually need 45 of these advanced computations. I'm going to go ahead and start that because we're producing the, the basics already. But for these, we have to research these. Uh, I got three for each one, so I gotta make 15 of those. And they are ba pretty basic copper wire and a circuit board, which is wood. Now, do I have enough to actually make any on me? Uh, let's see here. Hang on, I didn't research it, did I? Uh, no, I didn't. Let's go ahead and research that instead. Oh yeah, I gotta restart it. Is that what's going on? No, no, just had to restart everything, so I gotta research this. So let me re research this. And at the same time too, actually while we're doing that, let's go ahead and build another computer. We need another computer, we will need... Actually just need some wire. Because theoretically, that generator should be able to run two, two pieces of equipment, two computers. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the light out and the computer. And then let's, what's the, what do we need for the computer? Oh, doesn't matter, I have enough. And, hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll just leave them here. Trying to figure out where they're going to be. Sure, do it that way. Alright, and give me that wire back. Nothing like placing the wire in the wrong spot, huh? Okay. So, one will be doing basics, one will be doing advanced. Now, I need to actually get the circuits, which we're still researching, so uh, let's actually go back over to here. And get it going. So that's going to actually build that research up faster. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
get this research, make a whole bunch of circuits, research the advanced computation so I can research the smelting, or the advanced smelting, so we can actually make windows. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, research is complete. So we have the circuits now, so we can go ahead and actually start making the circuits. So now I can go ahead and start researching this. Uh, of course, I have two of these computers going, so uh, the basics will go by pretty quick. Uh, the circuits, on the other hand, I don't know how many I'm going to need. Well, I know how many I need, I don't know how many I'm going to make. 16, well, I need 15, so crap, three batches of five. I'll let that go, and I'm going to finish up doing whatever here, and I'll bring you back. Oh, look at that. They're smoking. Not as much smoke as I was hoping there was going to be. But they're smoking. I just saw the first batch of coke come out of this one here. So this one seems to be the one that got water first. As you can see, it's traveling down the line, and it should be going right into that rack. Wait. Wait. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And there we go. We have an item rack of coke. We're gonna party tonight. Okay, the chips are done. So, go ahead and just change a recipe. And now it's got an input slot. We go ahead and dump those in. And it's gonna research those. And research that at the same time. And add it to our totals up here. So, let me do that and I'll be back. And it is another nice, beautiful morning that I brought on myself, thanks to the old creative tools here. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do for now, just this, uh, the facade that I have. I was thinking about putting some some lamps on, uh, on some columns, but for some reason I don't have the columns yet. This is me searching for them. I can't seem to find out where they are in the research tree, so... Yeah, considering the fact that window panes are behind the arc furnace, well, you never know where they're going to be. But anyways, uh, yeah, I was going through all these trying to figure out where it was. Decorative wood, it's going to take me five minutes. No, it's not. It's going to take me four minutes. Oh, actually, technically, it should have taken eight and a half minutes, but it's going to take me four minutes. Because I'm doing this. I also found out, too, one of, the, one of these uh, generators doesn't quite put on enough power to keep this thing going. Or to get two of them going. Oh, okay. So we're having a heat issue then. Are we? We shouldn't have a fuel issue. I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to be a few more minutes for that. And then with that, I'm going to be able to actually uh, make some windows for this thing. But since I have these lights, let's actually put them in. Get a little bit of light in here. I haven't decided where I'm going to put them. Ideally, like I would have wanted to have it on the floor, but maybe do it like that. Of course, they won't be on now because it's, it's, it's daytime. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll need uh, better interior lighting, I think. Uh, and I can put it in the center there. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Maybe... There? And... There. That's in the right spot. Sure. I can't put one in the middle because I've got a two-block gap. And I want to do the same thing on the outside too, but that kind of looks odd having them hang. Just like that. Oh, actually what I can do. I do want to keep this overhang. I do actually like it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm a sucker for 50s building or whatever era that would be from. Alright, so let's do this and rotate it the right way. Let me go like that. In fact, go out a little bit more just to be different. And rotate the block again the right way. Oop. It's okay. We have the tools to fix it. We also have the tools to make it worse too. But let's not try to do that. 
That's not too bad. I'm actually wondering now, now that I'm looking at it, just to get some uh, detail. I was going to fill that in anyways, but if we do this... That's ah, better. I like that. Are my windows done yet? No. I do have to get some more glass, so uh, I'll bring you back when that's done. In fact, I'll bring you back when I've got this done. Well, there it is at night. Not too bad. Could be worse. Could be better. But I'm happy with it. Uh, let's bring it to day. Uh, let's go straight to the daytime here. So I decided to go sideways with the windows instead of vertical. Uh, I noticed the windows are still one-sided. So as you can see, I got wooden window on one side. If I go on the other side, nothing. I can see the bricks on the outside, except for when I go to the frame, which... Uh, you don't really notice it, but there is a bit of slight tint on this side. Uh, I did wall at the back, try to get some lights in there, try to get something in there, but uh, right now it's just a storage for all the fuel that I am producing right now. Look at that, 160, 140. So yeah, we've done about 600 co uh, coal coke for now. Not sorry, but yeah, it's uh, to start. It's going to be our main primary fuel source for a little while anyways until this suffers and then we'll have to get into something else but for the, for the meantime this is it this is also going to get us going with our steel all we have to do is bring in some iron which just happens to be right over here uh also got to bring the copper in but uh, we got our power situations all worked out just gotta feed the feed the furnaces and get that, those heat lines going. Uh, so I'm going to call this one here. We're running a little bit late, but uh, next episode, we're going to, like I said, we're going to bring the copper in. We're going to start uh, processing it through the hammer and the macerator. Uh, I don't know how far away we are from the ore washer, because the ore washer is going to get us a little bit more, I think. Uh, it's down here somewhere. Uh, we'll also start getting some auto... Maybe not some automation, but... Uh, get a whole bunch of those circuits uh, made so we can start researching this stuff. Don't know how many of these advanced computations we need. Uh, doesn't look like. Well, yeah, there's a bit. We might have to go through a couple of stacks. But, anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.